Hey guys, we are back at the mobile home today. I don't know exactly what I was going to get done. I know that they're going to be working on that floor in the bathroom. And um, I think that they're going to like, if, it's just according to how long that takes. Sanding the sheetrock mud that they put in last time that needs to be done. Like this room's finished with the mudding and all that stuff. Um, but like around this, uh, whoo, he just turned on the generator so the light just came on and just messed up my brain because it popped on. <laughs> anyway, this right here, where now my shadow's on it because of that light. <laughs> where that he fixed that, put a patch in. <laughs> Where he put the patch in, he's got to see in that. So they may be doing that today. Jeffrey, what else do you think? The bathroom floor, sheetrock mud. What else do you think today? Just whatever they can do. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to set the camera up for the you to see the doing the stuff in the bathroom because that bathroom is so tiny. But I'll show you like before and after of that. And I'll just kind of show you little clips of what's happening because it's to the point right now where they're moving all over the place and lots of things are happening at the same time. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to show. But, um, there's that, I guess. <laughs> so, I'll be back. Okay, so the first thing that Noah's been working on is we're gonna replace the floor down there. So he took the toilet up. So this is the before of the floor. He said that the bolts were so rusty that they were just falling apart, which we knew it was really super loose. But uh, I'm gonna move out of his way so he can move that out of the way.
Is it just me, or is it hard to agree with what you're trying to explain? I don't mind feather wings, no diamond rings, but that's not how you get to me. We could sit in the shade, talk to late, and then we'll see. We can go for walks, stroll on the city park, and maybe, just maybe. Sweet delivery is never guaranteed. No matter the place or time. Oh, I like when you're whispering and really listening. Not too much fuss, so keep it easy. We can sit in the shade.
Okay, so I came in here because Noah is vacuuming back in the back. Jeff's um, sanding sheetrock mud and the bathroom floor has been put on hold. It is staying just like it is right now because as you saw on the last part of the clip, the pipe just came apart. It just crumbled. So now we have gone through and we have figured out everything we hopefully need to replace all the pipe, the whole house. We're just gonna replace it all. Um, because that's the second place that it's just crumbled. And I'm pretty sure, we're both pretty sure, it's just gonna keep happening. And whenever we took the panel off like this, this is a shower access panel, took the one off in Noah's room for that bathroom, the pipe there was, it was busted. Um, we haven't fooled with these other than figuring out how many 90s and T's and all the things we need. But yeah, it's, we're just gonna have to replace all the pipe. So, don't really know what else is happening today, but we just keep running into these things. It's expected with the old house though. So anyways, at least we know, and we've made a decision on what we're gonna do. We're not gonna take out all that up under the mobile home because we don't want to take that insulation and that cover that's under there that's holding the insulation. We don't want to take that out. So Jeff has a way that he's going to do it and then just insulate the pipe as well, the new. So it'll be not the way it was originally, but it will be taken care of and insulated and all that stuff. So he's going to figure all that out and I'm going to talk to him about what else is going to be happening today, and I'll let you know if anything else is happening. Okay, so this is the fan for the vent fan for the bathroom. There's one in the other bathroom too, and Jeff is going to take them down because we're putting new ones in. Also, we want to paint because there's been leaks at times. This is not new. This is something from before we owned it. So, um... He's going to take that down, and one reason is so we can measure it, because we have not bought one for this bathroom. The other reason is so we can paint this later. Um, Noah and I also, which now you can't even see, but it's going to be loud in here. We took the, let me go get one, I'll be right back. Okay, we took the smoke detectors down. And the brand that this is, is Firex. And when I looked that up, um, KID, K-I-D-D-E, is what came up. This is the kind that hooks straight into your power. Well, I looked it up and was doing a little research, and the KID, which is the brand of carbon monoxide detector we have now, they have ones of these that you, um, they hook to your electricity, the same way this does, but it has a battery backup. So, if I am understanding correctly, when the power goes out, you still have a smoke detector. So, um, maybe we will only have to have one set, because we're going to have two like it did before because of the size of this home. We shouldn't have to have more than two of them. And we're going to have carbon monoxide detectors as well. So I've been doing research. I will show y'all more about that as I go, but they are, from what I understand, are supposed to be swapped out, like changed every 10 years. And also, you're supposed to vacuum the front of it every single month. So um, <laughs> I don't know if it was done or not. It actually doesn't look too bad for 26 years old. <laughs> 20, almost 27 years old. Oh, actually, maybe, yeah, 26 years old. Anyways, it was not replaced in 10 years, though, but they haven't lived in the mobile home in about 10 years, but they might not have even known that it needed to be replaced. But 
Whenever we get our new ones and our carbon monoxide detectors, we will show you, but we took those down today as well, Noah and I did. It was really easy because they just twist off and then the, they, they unhook right there. They have a little dumaflachy pluggy thingy. That's the word. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, with this one, Jeff just took the cover off and he found out it's just like a little plug up there. So he hooked that to an extension cord and that fan works just fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So we're not going to buy another one. We're just going to paint all around it and I will do the same thing I said I was going to do with the speakers with that and paint it pretty white to match the ceiling and that's one thing we don't have to buy. <laughs> that's good though. He's checking the one in Noah's room too. Now like I said we already have one that let me talk to y'all like this I'm tired of holding that up. <laughs> anyway we already have one. This is weird. <laughs> but the reason why we do is because we had bought it for the other house but we're not going to swap it out in the other house because we're not going to cut a hole in that bathroom ceiling if we're not going to live there. So we'll just have it for whatever. But that's good that that works. I'm going to see if the other one does too. Okay, so the other one works. So we don't have to get a new fan or vent fan. They work just fine. Um, so that's good. And we can just get some of that, the paint, I, can't, I think it's Krylon or I can't remember what it is, but it's just spray paint that you do plastic with that you can get from like Lowe's, Walmart, Home Depot, lots of places. I'm going to see if they have it at Bucks next time we go there. And we'll just pick it up then to uh, paint all these little, like the speaker covers and all that. What are you fixing to do now? Tear that apart. What else are you going to do? Oh, yeah. We haven't checked how, what all we need for the hot water heater. Let me look at my book. Why don't we go ahead and take all the closet shelves down? We're going to take all these closet shelves down, which this, um, the people who owned it probably put in, and they're still good. We can use those for something else to put a shelf up, but we don't want them in there because we want to have the kind that we bought that has the place to hold the rod. But I need to go get my book so I can write down the new stuff because he's got to check the hot water heater stuff. Okay, so Jeff has re-mudded things that needed to be mudded. Noah has started taking out the closet shelves. I think I told y'all about that. And now they're going to go ahead and put the picnic table together. Um, it came with instructions and all the things to do it with. I'll just show y'all what it looks like after it's done. But um, they're going to get that done so that while we're here working on it, we have a place we can eat at that's not a construction zone. And also, we can use it whenever we get moved in. It'll be ready to go. But I don't know what else they can do today, so they're just gonna go ahead and do that now and figure it out, I guess. I don't know. It's all a little confusing because of the plumbing issue. Okay, so this is the picnic table from Bucks. They got it all put together. And um, we figured out that just the wood would have been, how much did we say? $72? Yeah. Around $72 for just the, the lumber for this, not counting all the bolts and the screws and all that stuff. And then the regular price, I think I said it on the video whenever we bought this, was 100 something or 200 I can't remember now. But anyway, we got it for 45 I think it was. So, pretty good deal for a picnic table. And it's treated, so it'll last for a long time. Okay, guys, we are back home. The only things that we did, we ate our dinner there at the picnic table. <laughs> we had a picnic. Um, we had taken sub rolls and the ham and turkey and uh, some vegetables and stuff like onions and stuff we chopped up and we told y'all we were doing that whenever we did the grocery haul so took that down there it was a delicious <laughs> it was easy it was good and nobody was hangry on the way home 
and we did not have to go out to eat so that was a good thing and I did want to talk about the water pipes this is a setback it is something we did not expect exactly we kind of expected it but we didn't expect it like we, we were hoping it would be all right <laughs> but you know what we're looking at it like this if we replace it all we don't have to think about it for a very long time um, unless some animals get under there and tear something up and we hope that doesn't happen because we're gonna put skirting or um, we don't leave I think there felt like a bug was on me or something <laughs> it's probably my hair tickling me but um or we you know don't leave the water running like we should in the winter like dripping and stuff like that which we do have that heat tape stuff so that'll be a good thing too but it's okay we're not gonna let it get us down we're just gonna keep going we're gonna keep doing the things we're doing getting it worked out it'll be fine but before we left they went ahead and took the rest of the shelves out of the closets and out of the pantry because Jeff said he does not like those shelves that were in the pantry part He's going to build better ones because they were made out of like sheetrock and nothingness. That's not going to hold what we need it to hold. <laughs> so he's going to build it better. And he also fixed the deadbolt. It was hanging somehow. I don't know exactly what it was doing. He knows it needed a little bit more. If you remember, he had to chisel a little bit out to fix it. And he needed to do some adjustments. So he did that today before we left but we're not gonna let the pipe situation get us down we expected these types of things it's been sitting up a long time things dry rot that was the pipe from the um, it was like cheap made stuff that the manufacturers put in so that stuff doesn't last a long time anyway and it's like 26 27 years old I don't even know anymore <laughs> it's an old mobile home and it's okay it's all right we're not gonna worry about it we're just going to keep going and doing what we're doing and doing our best to get it all done. It'll be fine. It'll be, it, it, it's a blessing in disguise somehow, I'm sure. So we're going to look at it that way. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We'll be back down there tomorrow, or at least we're supposed to be. Unless for some reason we end up not going. I don't know what that would be. But um, we're going back down there tomorrow. And I do want to show you all this real quick. Y'all know we just harvested this. All right, there we go. We just harvested this. I mean, it's time to harvest again. We could have a salad. <laughs> it's good, too. But anyway, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. No matter what we're doing, I'll see you tomorrow. We may end up going to Bucks in the morning to check and see if they have some pipe or anything because they did have some of that pex pipe but we don't know if they still did or not but see y'all next time thank you so much for hanging out with us i do appreciate it if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you like my channel go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload share with a friend if you'd like to leave me a comment down below i really do want to know how you're doing and also if you have any questions if you don't know what's going on over here if you don't know what we're doing you can leave those questions down below too. Um, I may direct you to a video or I may just um, answer in the comments if I can easily. I may do another video about it because I know some of you are new. You may not know what's going on. <laughs> and, <laughs> and remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet. <laughs>